What up guys and gals, got some new Star Wars, I mean Star Trek figures today. I found these at the local comic shop. I was on my way back from uh, running some errands or trying to run an errand. And um, I didn't even know these were out. I didn't know they were coming out. I haven't been on the up and up on these. And I like old school Star Trek. I also like Next Generation. I also like Voyager 2. Um, Captain Jane Wade was cool. She, she was like, she was cool. But, um... I'm not like a big Trekkie. I'm not like one of those people that's going to want to dress up. Um, I think a lot of my influences, I, I know, uh, was it, was it one of the guys in the Misfits, or one of the, my favorite punk rock bands, one of those, I don't know if it was Doyle or who, or, or Yvonne, or somebody who was a big um, Star Trek fan. But anyways, that, that's regardless, it's just me rambling on about crap that nobody cares about. But anyhow, I found these, the Funko Reaction Star Trek figures, and I had to pick up my two favorite guys, which, you know, George Takei, and, or Takei, sorry, and, um, Sulu, and Spock, Leonard Nimoy, which, may he rest in peace, God bless him, uh, he brought us many, many great years of being awesome and being Leonard Nimoy, and, um, and it's crazy that these, this, you know, these figures came out, like, you know, around this time of his passing and stuff, it's kind of crazy. But, uh, yeah, I don't, I think I went and picked up books the other day, and I didn't see these there at all. I, I would have, because I saw them today, and I was like, I'm grabbing them. You know, I was like, I'm going to pick them up. You know, I, I have to. I'm not going to open them up right now, because I don't know if I want to. Lately, with some figures, I'm starting to become like one of those weird, um, creepy men on card people. That just want to, um, I'm just kidding. I'm not making fun of any of my friends that like to do men on card. I respect that. Everybody has their thing where they want to open it up and play with it, display it, or just keep it on card, and I respect that, and I'm kind of half and half, I kind of like keeping stuff on the card, and then I kind of like opening it up and checking it out, because, you know, it's like, why not, you bought it, you, you like toys, you know, it's like, play with it, why not, check it out, display it, whatever, but anyhow, with these, I like the card art a lot, so, like with the Big Trouble in Little China, I was like, man, I want to keep them on the card, but with, um, with these, I'm like, man, I just, pfft, just, oop, my bad, dang. I'm real uh, jittery today. I got the caffeine jitter. Sorry about that. But anyhow, yeah, I'm going to keep these on card. So, keep on blabbing. And yeah, it's pretty cool. I like him. I like Sulu. He's, he's one of my favorite characters. He uh, comes with a little phaser. It's kind of a, it's kind of got a big handle on it. The uniform is kind of weird. It's kind of two-toned, which is weird. Other characters, McCoy, Uhura, and uh, yeah, it'd be cool to get the rest of them, but yeah, especially McCoy, I always love McCoy, he, he's funny, funny guy, and, and these are less expensive than the Cthulhu figures, I'll say that for sure, <laughs> Ten ninety nine ain't bad, in price point compared, but yeah, it's pretty nifty, and I, I love the card, the card looks really nice, and I know, um, I know a lot of buddies are gonna be digging these, especially Ivan. I know he's gonna he's gonna want it to jump on these because I know he likes some Star Trek. And Count Stankus too. But yeah, same thing. And yeah, I looked around. and I was like, man, are they have Kirk, you know, because I wouldn't mind having me uh, some Shatner, some Shatner action. And um, nope, they just had these guys. So I was like, okay, I guess you know that's what they're coming out with for now. And I was like, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm stoked. Glad to get them. I'm glad to have uh, this version. It, it'd be funny because you can match these up with like Star Wars and stuff, and it'd be pretty funny to have these guys on your Death Star or your Star Destroyer, you know, and <laughs> hanging out and stuff or whatever. Or they accidentally beamed to the you know Death Star to Star Destroyer and have to squab with some stormtroopers. That'd be pretty funny. But anyhow, I just wanted to put these put that out there that these guys are out, and uh, if you like Star Trek, start finding them because. Uh, Love that. Love the old school look. Love the um, old school show. And uh, yeah, get them, grab them, because um, I think these would be pretty easy to find right now. And, and as far as uh, reaction figures, it doesn't seem like they're blowing out. It seems like I think I think when they come out with like Comic Con or Toy Fair exclusives, like those are the ones that go up in value that are a huge deal. But other than that, they just seem pretty easy to find. I mean, we have every line here in town except for. The Terminator ones are the only ones I haven't seen. 
Or maybe the Goonies. I don't know if we've got the Goonies ones either. I don't think I've seen that. But but so far at the comic shops that I've been to and stuff. But anyhow, um, I wouldn't freak out and pay outrageous prices for them if you can't find them. Because like the Jason figure, you couldn't find them for a long time. Now you can find them here, so it's not a big deal. But yeah, I wouldn't want anybody to try to pay ridiculous prices for these. Just Sometimes you just got to wait it out and you'll find them. But anyhow... Thanks, guys, and I just wanted to share this with y'all. And, uh, yeah, good hunting and good collecting. All right, later.